hello, today I'm here with a new video and today it is a first impression again and this is with a palette that I haven't been looking so much forward to and it's the Oceanic palette by Ace Boutte. Ace Boutte. I have the flare palette and I love it and then they came out with an ocean theme palette. The palette looks exactly like the box and it's got 15 colors just as the flare palette and I have been wanting this palette for such a long time But it took so long for it to get to Beauty Bay. It came the 1st of August. I finally got it I think it's sold out now again. It was the same with the flare palette so this is a blue and green palette that looks like this and I am so happy that I finally got this. This looks amazing. The first thing I noticed when I opened this was like, I want to do something with this color and I think I am going to do something with that color. But I'm not sure what I want to do. But I think I want to do something pretty... I think I want to do a halo eye. Surprise, surprise. And pretty dark halo eye. So yeah, I think I just will zoom you in and we get started and I will see when I'm going where uh, this will end with this look. So yeah, just hop into the look. So I think I know exactly what I want to do. Maybe not exactly, but I think I know what I want to do. So I want to start with seaweed. This super cool grungy color. Put this in my crease. And I love these kinds of colors. You know my eyeshadow base. I have swatched quite a lot of shadows now. <laughs> Before I started. Just to know how they look together and... My plan... I think it's pretty good. I really hope so. And I am so happy that... Beauty Bay has a Beauty, Ace Beauty, Ace Beauty. I'm going to stick with Ace Beauty because it has <laughs> been one of those brands that I really, really, really wanted to buy from, and the shipping from the U.S. to Sweden from their own website. It's like I have to pay more in shipping and taxes than what the palette is actually costing and that is like I'm not going to do that I love to support in brands but like it's insane to pay more for like fees and shipping than for the actual product so when Ace Boutique came to Beauty Bay I was like whoop whoop now I'm only waiting for Colourpop. I guess it will never happen. Okay, and then I'm going to take Pacific, this dark green. And I'm going to do a halo eye. I don't know if I said it first, but I am doing a halo eye. I am taking this out here. It was between the Pacific and the Lagoon. But I think the Pacific will go better with what I have planned for this look. I really hope, because if it's not, I am fucked right now. These two go so good together. Really, really like it. And I was wondering if I'm going to buy the Affinity 2 palette from Certify or this one. But then I saw... Betty Jean's video about this and she compared some of the green and blue palette and after that video I was like I want to take by the Ace Boutte palette because I love the flare palette so yeah here we are and I think I'm going to leave my crease my halo I mean like this I always do like the smallest halos ever so I will keep this a little bit bigger and I will cut my halo with glitter glue, I think. Do I want to try it without glitter glue? No. Or, yeah, okay, we can try it without glitter glue. So for my halo, I want to take this... Anemone? 
In Swedish, it is Anemon. This is struggle with not having English as English as your first language. Some words you don't learn in school, and uh, I don't watch see things, so I have no idea. Okay, so I think this works without clear glue. I think it would work better, better with. What's up with my tongue today? It would have been better with the clear glue, but it's absolutely manageable without a glue. Without a clear glue, okay? I am like on no sleep and work 10 hours today, so my brain is a little bit mushy, if I'm going to be honest. But it's only Monday when I'm filming this and it feels great for the rest of the week to already be mushy in the head on Monday. Okay, I I like this so, so much. I love this and the mound shade. Okay, I think I'm going to settle like this and I like this so much. I, I like it so so much. I really hope that you can see what I see. And I li like want to put on more and more and more. So okay, I'm going to do my other eyes, take away the fallout, fix my base and my brows and then I will come back and we do something to the lower lash and I want to do something for my inner corner and I think I know I want I know what I want to do. And yeah. So I fix everything almost everything and then I come back and we will see where this look is going to end. Okay, so the face is on and time for the under eyes and I think I will do almost the same on my under eyes but I'm going to do something in my inner corner maybe here so I will start with seaweed and take it underneath my eyes and I think I will smoke this out a bit. And then I also will take the Pacific also on my lower lash, but closer to my lash line. So, okay, I am going to do my inner corner. But I actually don't know which brush going to be good for that. Maybe this one from Colourpop. And I will of course take this green. This bright green. And algae? Okay, so I'm going to take this in here. And also I think maybe a little up there. I have to see how it's looking. And how it's performing with no sticky base. I think it needed a sticky base, but we have to do without. And now I almost poke my eye. Okay, this wasn't what I was expecting because I wanted to be more bright. But I think it needs like a sticky base to be like super super bright. Okay, I am a little bit disappointed because I wanted it to be something more than it is, but this bright colors is a little bit tricky to do. I know that. And especially when I'm putting it on my concealer that is already set with setting powder, I understand why it's a little bit harder to show up. Okay, so I think I will just have to go with this and I will put something in my waterline and I think I will take Electric Daisy to go with this algae and put on mascara and a lippy and I guess that you understand that I want to go with red lip for this, of course. So I'll put on mascara, this pen and also pick out a red lipstick for this look. So, this is the finished look for my lips. I used Love Life from Colourpop. I wanted something a little bit more bright red. So, yeah, this is my first impression with Oceanic palette. And I am so loving this palette so, so much. 
the green I think it looks a little bit better now than I than when I apply it. I don't know why, but it just feels I am okay with it. And this was it Andromeda? An anim anemone? Anemone. Unknown. This one that I have in my halo, I love it so much, so so much. So it was so fun to play with this and I felt like I wanted to do something a little bit green and maybe a little bit grungy, I don't know if it became any grungy at all, but I wanted to do something green and I am so looking forward to playing with this more. I feel it's the same good formula as, as, as is in the Flare palette. I haven't tried any of their Paradise palette, Paradise collection palettes, but this I really really like it. I like that these two palettes go in like the same theme, but they are totally different, <laughs> but pretty like. And I like that this has like seashells on it. It's a really good palette and yeah we're not going to talk about this I am so happy that I bought it and if you live in Europe and haven't got this palette yet just hang in there because I think it will come back to Beauty Bay it should come back to Beauty Bay and I am sure that it's going to come back to Beauty Bay because this is my first impression is that this is an amazing palette it is a fun palette I really like it and I think it is a good mixture mixture between shimmers and mattes and I like that it's like the shimmers has I think almost all of the shimmers has a matte that is in the same color so I think that this one I think that these two are pretty alike and these two are like the same and these two and maybe this and this and that and that and yeah. I think it is a nice palette and I am so happy that I finally got my hands off it. And I think I will just stop talking and and my first impression. My first impression is really good. It's going to be so fun to play with this more. And I really hope you like this video. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!